yeah i'm gonna do a power ranking of all the teams in lpl this won't show the full rosters this is just so i like remember all all the teams mainly and like have a rough estimate of like i mean it'll show like majority of the rosters but i i know most of the rosters by heart this is just for um like just quick reference so i don't have to consistently recall 17 different lpl teams and then also there's a lot of changes every year in terms of uh you know new, new teams coming in or like teams changing their name so you have like ninjas in pajamas i mean victory five is ninjas in pajamas but uh weibo is sooning anyone's legend is uh is uh rogue warriors from last year and then you have uh ultra prime who was previously e-star that was just in summer split let's get into this because we we don't have that much time we got like five minutes i just talked about fucking life shit, bro it just became like a just chatting stream for for 20 minutes until we got into uh yeah but anyways i kind of have this like sorted out in in my head um like i thought about this beforehand all right number one I'm, I'll, I'll probably adjust these but i'm just gonna put them in like general order to start so i'm gonna have edg first second i think will probably be top esports i think i think top is actually gonna be insane this year uh i think zoom is just a perfect player uh for this organization like they've had so many top lane issues the only problem that i have with t top esports is i am really sketched out by tn if it's not ts i would say rng is probably there for me but for right now i'm just going to put rng third okay rng third fourth so like we're probably gonna move these around i'll probably put blg fifth lng sixth fpx this is gonna be it we'll, we'll move these but this is like generally where i'm putting teams okay so let me just i think the easiest way to do it now is like whatever like down here 17th will be i think tt 16th will probably be it's pretty tough bro it's pretty tough i don't think it'll be ultra prime it honestly might be like lgd i could see lgd actually falling off pretty hard it could be ra i probably won't be ra they have genji they'll probably be fine um so like this tier i mean it could be anyone's legend even though i think that they'll probably be fine with maple it could be jdg honestly bro it literally could just be jdg jdg i I'm, i want to have pretty low like when i thought about this i was like yeah i just don't think jdg is going to be very good uh i don't think we is going to be very good um i think v5 will be like middle of the pack but yeah i think tt is definitely going to be the worst i have a really bad feeling about lgd man i really have a bad feeling about lgd how did I EDG lose to IG? EDG didn't play one of their uh starters. They literally played full sub roster. So that completely doesn't matter. All right. We gotta we we're gonna have to uh, eventually speed this up. So I'm gonna I'll put anyone's legend here, and then I'll put LGD and then JDG. I think rare Adam is probably not gonna be super high. Uh I think we'll keep this for right now. I think this is a solid top six. Who do I think is gonna be seventh? I mean it could be Weibo. It could be Weibo, it could be technically like ig maybe could technically be v5 i think v5 will be i think v5 will be like a 10th place team i think omg will probably be like 12th i guess i guess i'll just put weibo omg i don't think omg is gonna be that good i think omg is gonna be um probably outside of the playoff race like i don't think o omg really got that much better right like they, they pretty much just added uh sean g which i don't think is gonna be enough when everyone else is improved yeah v, v5 i think will be will be okay i think they'll be okay um do ultra prime here i think ultra prime here is pretty fair and then i think 12th i'm gonna go omg 11th will be ra v5 i mean i'm just gonna fill this in and then see how it is ig and oh w e no, w is not here w is not here for sure i'll probably put w e i mean w e might be like 11th could be maybe i move maybe i move it like this we i think ig will make playoffs and they'll be like a ninth place team put that here ig should be low i don't think ig is gonna be that bad i don't i don't see why ig should be super low on this i mean shun nene uh lucas i think they're all decent players i think that that the fact that they're gonna have this core is actually gonna be better for them uh yeah i mean maybe ig maybe i could put ig a little bit lower but i i really don't think any of these teams are good honestly maybe i move ultra prime up i probably move ultra prime up i think ultra prime actually won't be that bad maybe omg will be 12th probably we 13th i mean all the teams are actually pretty good this year i wonder which one of these teams is gonna crap crash or burn i mean honestly the, the team that i'm the most like like sketched out on out of this whole tier list is weibo i could see weibo just being dog shit. 
right? Like the shy, if he just starts running it down, Weibo could just be a 13th place team. They could just be Suning 2020 spring. You're ranking BLG according for Uzi or Jago play. It's like for both. Like it, with either one, like whoever they decide on, I think that they're, well, I think they're both really good AD carries. So I'm more worried about like the other positions filling in and like being able to compete with the top. And I, I think that they can for the most part. Um, but I mean, I think RNG will be upgraded for sure. Like RNG sounds really scary with Vin. Assuming that Ming keeps on being a beast and a, and a shot caller and just somebody who really like is able to point the team in the right direction. Uh, I think that their roster should just be better. And, and I think Ben is pretty flexible in terms of like how he can play games out. Like sure, he has a, a specific champion pool, but I don't think that he needs to play any 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 certain style to be successful. Like if Ben needs to play Renekton, he can play Renekton and just be a beast. He's done that before. He's shown that. Like I would say the best top laners in LPL. Uh, I mean, like Flandre is consistent. And then you have like this 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 highest echelon of of uh, top laners, which for me um, would be Ben, Ale, uh, Breathe, and Zoom. So those are like the so like yeah, pretty much like all the top laners on the top five. I would say are are just simply the best top laners uh, in LPL. I mean, there's like some outliers like the shy where if the shy actually plays well, he could be the best, but we haven't seen that in so long that it's it's impossible to actually put him up there. It's like Huni, bro. He's literally just the same, the same way I view the shy is the same way I view Huni where, I mean, obviously the shy is way more recent, but he plays in a harder region, but it's like, yeah, sure. Huni, if he started playing like Huni used to play, he could be the best top laner in LCS, but he hasn't done that in so long that I just don't even believe that it's possible. JDG 14. I think JDG is going to be trash, bro. I think JDG is really going to be trash. Like, I, I just think that they got way worse, man. And, and I don't know, man. 369, I'm I'm not I'm not seeing him be insane. I mean, I can see, like, JDG, honestly, like, they should probably, if they all play as well as they can, they should probably be, like, 10th, maybe. But if you think about the fact that they were like 12th, 13th place last split. I mean, what, what were they? 12th, 13th around there. And then they just got worse. In my opinion, I think they got worse. TS over RNG. Yeah. I think TS is actually going to be really good. Um, TS's biggest issue. I mean, TS was probably like a top six team, uh, last split. Maybe you could give them top seven, but I mean, they literally went to five games of LNG. They could have easily made worlds with, with that roster. I think that, that, Top esports with Zoom is going to be a really, really good roster. The only person that I'm scared of is Tien, but Knight was so insane last year. He was so insane. And if Jackie Love just doesn't play like a complete animal, I, I think that this team is actually just going to have three ridiculously strong lanes, bro. You got Jackie Love, Knight, and Zoom, bro. Those are your laners. That's a fucking insane top, mid, and bot laner to have. Like TS could win the split for sure. They could definitely win the split. I think. I think probably any of the top five could win the split in theory. I wouldn't say FPX could win the split. I would say any of these teams have the possibility of winning the split. And then like six through like 12th is what I would say, like are going to be like the teams like scrapping it out, trying to find a fight their way into playoffs. And then bottom five, I think will just be like the bottom feeder teams. So it's kind of like, it's like a group here, a group here and a group here. I, I think Weibo I have too high personally. I think Weibo is probably too high for me. It, sure, they could be insane, but I don't know, man. The Shy really, like... I, I don't know if the Shy paired with um a player like SOFM is actually going to work out that well. Because it feels like SOFM has always had this percentage chance to just do nothing in games where his team is behind. Like, if his team starts losing lanes, he's normally not going to do anything that's going to, like, chance the game to potentially win it for them. But then, like, also, if it goes wrong, he's just going to be super behind. He doesn't make plays like that. And the Shy sometimes just naturally gets himself ridiculously far behind to the point where you're playing, like, essentially a 4v5. So I'm actually scared about the SOFM and, and the Shy combination. Your list is now an LPL caster. Congratulations. Yep. That's me right there. So there, we did our little tier list.